If you're watching this, it's because if you showed up late, we tried to do TikTok, it was a bad idea. But there's something that's always a good idea. There is a YouTube channel that only produces high quality, amazing content all the time. And that channel, of course, has 24 million subscribers. It's WatchMojo.com. Literally eight videos a day. How do they do it? All of them are amazing, too. The top 20 greatest movie quotes of the century. By the way, I looked at this. The insane Danganronpa executions. I'm watching this. I don't think this is going to make it into the YouTube video because I'm not watching 20 minutes of this to go into YouTube. But I have to see it. I have to see it. That game is so fucking dumb. They upload like eight videos a day. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look. And we're going to start with the top 20 most annoying video game characters ever. Ever. Number one is probably... Navi? No. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 annoying video game characters. Oh, them? They're that super one. famous. Her. That one. Wait, I, I remember her. I remember her distinctly. 19, that one. Mr. Rossetti. I Animal love Mr. Crossing Rossetti, bro. Series. Now, I did not play the game, so maybe that's why. Mr. Rossetti rules. This is so funny that Nintendo did this. When it comes to annoying characters in our favorite games, Mr. Rossetti is still worth bringing oh, up. Oh, man. This angry mole will lecture you. He's trying to help you. you yeah. Your console. What for? Well, you most this likely dude's shut on your game side. without saving. As a kid, I got stuck on him for an hour and cried. Wait, does he really take that long? If you don't type his command correctly, he makes you do it again. Genshin and Pale Payment! So you do remember him, that green guy. It doesn't make her cute. It makes her irritating. That's just anime girls, dude. Isn't this just anime girl? Like, any clip that I watch is just a woman doing this voice. I just hate anime voices. Maybe they're all moe animes. For a of that's hours, a thing, right? <laughs> that's what we're doing. Until you figure out how to refer to yourself in the first person. Buddy, you're we overselling it. You're capable of doing that. All right, let's hey, dial it back. So dial it back. You're at a 10, and we're only at number 17. Let's number 17, dial it back. Trophy Thomas. Banjo Trophy Kazooie, Thomas. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> Who is that? Who's Trophy Thomas? If you heard of Trophy Thomas, then you must have skipped Nuts and Bolts. This self-absorbed cheetah constantly brags about having the best scores in every mission and will try to discourage you from even trying. This guy rules! What he doesn't seem to realize is that once you unlock super parts, jets, and the like, his scores are mere child's play. This guy's bragging about beating to Trophy Thomas. Really? Tommy boy, you're not as hot as you think you are if a jet, super fuel, and homing missiles can decimate your Why is drive? a grown man going on a rant about Trophy Thomas? It looks just like Ninja. Oh my god, it really does, dude. Just something about- I love the number one chain. I love Trophy Thomas, bro. Gex the Gecko. <laughs> what is Gex his problem? That's libel, yeah. I don't know what they're talking about, bro. Gex is funny. We can see why some folks like Gex. He can be a bit of a chat at times, and his overall design is kind of cool. Who the wrote thing is this? That the dude has watched way too much television, and if he ever does say something original, it's out of smarminess. I am the Lizard King. Hear my roar. Pretty funny. Gex views himself He's as pretty the funny. thing since sliced bread. Big talk coming from a guy who lives in the small Green. Is this guy trying to bring Gex down a peg? What is this guy's problem? Gex thinks Number he's nine. funny, but Survivors. actually he's not funny. <laughs> okay, this one's spinning. This one's good. This one's true. That's there a good no point. One survivor to put on here. <laughs> Especially since survivors are also players. The thing is, we're talking about a particular kind of player here. Literally survivors all of them. Bring I nothing hate but this meta perks game. like dead hard to negate hits, adrenaline to extend chases, and decisive strike to instantly break from the killer's grasp. Dude, this guy sucks at Dead by Daylight. For this guy definitely meta, plays Dead by killers, Daylight. That's his main the game. Meta never guarantees wins. <laughs> Dead by Daylight is tag. Number seven, Ugh. Porky Mitch. Mother okay, series. hold on. That's cool though. You want Porky to be annoying. Don't worry. I love this is Porky. The last time we're bringing up Porky's funny as hell. Porky is definitely worthy of being on this list. Porky because of rules. How his hatred and jealousy seem to be the entire foundation. I love of Porky, his personality. bro. That's my guy. He's funny as hell. <laughs> Thankfully, he gets his comeuppance when he deliberately seals himself in the absolutely this? safe capsule. 
Immortality isn't all it's cracked up to be, Porky. And you're about to learn that the hard way. He's literally a child, by the way. He didn't deserve that. He's a, he's a fucking kid. Like, kids are annoying. <laughs> Number four, the adoring fan. The Elder Scrolls 4. All right, Oblivion. this guy looks funny. I don't know anything Azura, about this dude, but Azura, I love him. Azura. I love this guy. Should you become the grand champion, you'll be forced to endure one of the worst <laughs> Why nightmares does he look in like the Elder that? Scrolls games. The eyebrows the kill me. Fan. Can you kill him? You can kill him as often as you want, and he'll keep coming back. Wait, are you serious? That is amazing. Even if he does die, I love this guy, dude. Later. Your best option oh, there you go. He shows up a few days later. Home. Amazing. At least he listens. Number three, Slippy Toad. Star Fox Come on. 64. Slippy, walk out. Slippy's on doing bed. her best. His best? I actually don't know. His. I was going to say, I've never thought about it. I thought Slippy was a girl when I played this as a kid. So I never, <laughs> I never looked it up. The there Slippy Hatred is a meme, bro. To intimidate the enemy, only to Slippy get Hatred is a Heck, meme. He even tries to tackle a boss in the middle of the fight and gets his butt swatted into Titania. The kid doesn't know his own limits and abilities, and it certainly shows... I think Peppy is more annoying, because Peppy is acting like your dad in these games. Yeah, Peppy's always, like, trying to talk down to me, like, Oh, your father loved that. Shut up, dude. Old ass. He's always got shit to say to you. Navi. Wait, number two Zelda, is Navi. Oh. Can anyone explain why Navi is considered one of the most annoying, insufferable, irritating, agitating, ear piercing Who's number one? In all Omo Chow? Gaming? No way. You guessed, Baby Mario number one? Existing, well, no. You're not entirely wrong. Hey, listen. Watch out. We've heard them incessantly for decades. You know, I played this game and I didn't think it was that annoying. Day. I think there was a period in gamer culture where like people needed stuff to like connect about you know what i mean before the internet was huge and i feel like back in those days like the first thing people went to was like wow slippy's annoying huh yeah lol people exaggerating on game facts boards and it just sort of continued into the modern age it's the same reason the cake is a lie was so big right is that like it was that new generation of like youtube just came out and everybody's talking about portal Kind of interesting, bro. I don't know. It's kind of fascinating. I don't know what the modern equivalent is. Like, what's the current thing that everybody... Among Us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't know how to phrase it. What's, like, the current social trend? Uh, I guess it would be Among Us. I don't know. Are I have no phone? idea who's Make number sure one, by the way. Into your settings and switch I have no clue. Number one, Baby Mario. No! Super Mario World 2. He's a Yoshi's baby, Island. dude! Dude, the baby what? gets hit! The baby got hit and he's crying because he needs help. Baby Mario serves as your one free hit from enemies. And as soon as you get that hit, he cries and cries and cries from within his own bubble until you retrieve him. He's you a get to baby, hear this dude. On top of a timer beeping until it reaches zero. It is without a doubt the most rage inducing combination this, of this sounds is a meme. in the history of video games. This is a and meme. It's, it's literally just a baby crying. Is absolutely the most annoying video game character character of all time i hate this narrator bro i don't i know he didn't even write it he didn't even write this script but i hate him i have a baby you should be blessed that the baby only cries when you get hit sometimes babies just cry bro that would be very funny in this game though if the baby just cried for no reason all the time that would make it the most annoying actually if this was a realistic baby all right now it's time <laughs> Top 10 grossest food facts. Ew. Probably <laughs> skip. I have to know. I'll skip if it's if it's if it's gross. But I'll, I'll hit the I'll hit the forward. 10 cochineal bugs. What are those? The cochineal insect is a small bug endemic to the Americas. Underneath its waxy exterior uh. is a vivid red due to the presence of karmic acid. But this acid is also the source of E120, as found in the pink icing of many a fairy cake. This acid oh. can be extracted and diluted with other substances, creating a bright red dye. Oh, so it's red food dye. Or natural red four. This bug extract is harmless. Just eat preservatives. That's fine. Long been a common additive to make food. Oh, redder. dude, that's kind of cool, dude. I can't believe that, like, for thousands of years. So we're talking like ancient Egypt found these bugs. And we're like, fuck it. I'm going to smash them and make my clothes red. That's cool as hell. That's just man overcoming nature. Starbucks ended up removing the dye for an alternative. Whatever. Number nine. Wait, there was an alternative the whole time? <laughs> Wait, what? There was another option? 
I thought that that would just be like, oh, well, we have to use it, but they're just like, oh, no, there's something else. Number eight, shellac. You may know this substance better by the friendly nickname Confectioner's Glaze. But while shellac isn't harmful when used in food, it's another common additive made from bugs. Bro, that's amazing to me. That's not gross. It just blows my mind that man has this level of ingenuity. This is why we're the apex species, right? Because we saw a bug and we're like, oh, I'm going to add that to candy. We saw a cow and drank the milk. That's insane. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You have to take risks in order to, to receive a reward. Number six, Kopi Luwak. What is when most people drink Kopi coffee, Luwak? They hope that the coffee... This dude's name is Kopi. Though Kopi Luwak is internationally recognized as delicious, it's made from coffee cherries that have been eaten and pooped out by the Asian palm civet, a cat-like mammal that lives throughout Southeast Asia from India to Indonesia. It comes yeah. out like that. Yeah. And that's, that's the magic stuff. Okay, I was wrong about human ingenuity. Why did we do that? The other stuff, like, makes sense, right? You see a bug and you turn it into candy or whatever. Who did this? Who fed one of those things to this cat and was like, hmm? Supposedly, this adds to the flavor, but does that matter when knowing how it's produced will turn your stomach? Yeah, that's a little mum. On okay, the side, finally, so a gross expensive. food fact. Number four. Shrimp poop. Shrimp what? If you've ever prepared a meal or a recipe that uses shrimp, you've probably had to devein your ingredients. Not me. Well, actually, it isn't a vein, and it has nothing to do with blood. Okay. No, it's the shrimp's intestine, and it's full of exactly what you would expect an intestine to be full of. Oh, that's kind of gross. I mean, that's kind of gross, but Thankfully, like... Thankfully, there's little risk in eating a shrimp that hasn't been deveined. Seems easy It'll to do. It's taste, almost like God so made it for us to eat. If God didn't want us to eat that, he wouldn't make it so accessible. It's right there. You just pull it, the whole thing comes out. Number two, dead wasps. Ah, if you've yeah. Eaten fig, chances are high that you might have also eaten That's why I don't the eat figs. remains of a wasp. Yes, really. Look at that. Inside, there are brown males. Ah! And black you got two gross facts, Watch Mojo. You got two bad ones. Hatches, they need to be male figs, or the wasp can't get back out. The wasps can't tell which figs are which, and often they'll die an unpleasant death inside. That's gross. Thankfully, the fig is perfectly capable of digesting Stop the Stop talking. Wasps this has the most time of anything else on this video yet. Just go. Go next. Number one. What the FDA allows. Huh? You might find something like this. <laughs> Aw. A friend. A little buddy. Most people will have heard horror <laughs> that stories. That thing probably went on a US crazy journey if he got packaged in with the, the pepper. Products that the American public consumes. And unfortunately, many of those stories are completely true. Whatever, dude. There are, dude. quote unquote, acceptable levels of all kinds of dangerous and disgusting things. What kind of world FDA do you want to live in, bro? Allowing hairs and insect fragments in peanut butter. Allowing over a dozen maggots in a can of mushrooms. Okay, that's gross. Allowing traces of I would never eat mushrooms. In widely consumed hot dogs and insects in raisins. Yeah, and like, I, I just don't, like, when you harvest this stuff, it's like, obviously there's going to be issues with it. I, it. That's how you harvest it. You can't pick every single tomato for a bug. By the way, do, do you brush off your food? Yeah, that's a good for point. For your safety is to wash and Do you have to brush your cucumbers? What? All right, one more for the YouTube. This is probably going to have a lot of crossover with some other stuff we've done, but I have to know, what are the top 20 most ridiculous sports mascot moments ever? What is Grunty doing here? That's his name, right? Gr <laughs> Gritty. That's it. I was thinking of Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> For this list, Ugh. we're looking at absolutely insane moments involving sports mascots. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen a mascot do? Be sure to share it with us in that, the comments below. What that pirate's doing right now. Number 20, Tama visits the fans. Live mascots can be unpredictable. Stupid. Especially when they have wings. At Seattle home games, Tama flies out of the tunnel, hyping up the crowd. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Spotlight. During a 2000 game, however, she took a moment to rest during her pre-game <laughs> ritual and landed on a fan. The That's bird terrifying, dude. An apology. That's but so in scary. 2021, Tama landed on another fan. Oh my god, it's like scratching its head. Oh my god. Just getting scratched by those talons? Why is it landing on these guys? Their heads don't even look that hospitable. Number 18, Bucky Badger steals a flat. <laughs> This photo. During this Where will he go with it? Game between Michigan State University and the University he looks of so pleased with the himself. The Badgers mascot Bucky stole the Spartans flag and ran with it. The Spartans did not take kindly to this. Oh, A Michigan damn. State cheerleader confronted Bucky and tackled him to the ground. <laughs> A cheerleader? 
Oh, poor Bucky. But the Damn, Bucky's swinging! Team managed to get in a final <laughs> shove before leaving the scene. Maybe the football team should have recruited the cheer. Hey, sorry about sorry about that cheerleader, bro. My bad. Number but he did 17, get he did beat the hell out of your mascot, so. Bears can be scary even when they're inflatable. That's a big bear. That would scare me too. Oh my god. Practice, the inflatable clutch the bear awaited them. The most intense reaction, however, was Dwight Howard's. The three-time defensive player of the year threw his phone in the air and kicked clutch before he realized it was a joke. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh shit, that was a big kick. That actually would have hurt. Damn, dude, it like made a sound too. I hope that guy wore a cup. NBA All-Star Weekend is <laughs> How did he get up a there? fun time, especially when the mascots get together. During the 2009 All-Star Weekend in Phoenix, the Milwaukee Bucks mascot <laughs> Mango decided to stand behind the backboard. Mango, don't do that. Don't do to the hoop. <laughs> Mango. Oh, look, at him. look at that face. Oh god. Oh no. Wait, did it go in? Oh Mango Dunk. That's an assist for Mango. Oh god. Oh Jesus, look at his leg. I'd be in the hospital. Bango tore his ACL during the fall. I bet he made did. Appearances in a wheelchair and with a knee brace during the remainder of the season. <laughs> Wait, he kept showing up for the job in a wheelchair? Dedication. Good for him. Number 13. <laughs> Mr. C punches Vanderbilt student. As if the mere image of Mr. Commodore in basketball is shorts isn't terrifying enough. Who's Mr. C? Once Mr. C was done surfing, he grabbed That's enough. That's enough. Come here. That guy owes me money. Nose. Come here, you shit. Ha! <laughs> Students' nose immediately started gushing blood. <laughs> he tried to stem with newspaper before leaving the section. Perhaps the most impressive thing oh is God. that the student apparently did not get his shirt dirty. Why did he punch him? For what? This is the perfect crime. Excellent work, 47. <laughs> Number 12, Puddles versus Shasta. Oh, In no. Nature, a match oh, Puddles is going a crazy. And a cougar would have a pretty obvious outcome. But that isn't so in the wild world of sports. <laughs> Puddles, Mascots, stop! Puddles and Shasta got That's into obscene, it on the Puddles! Before to let it go after Shasta did push-ups on the field. A signature practice <laughs> the former performs anytime Oregon scores points. The student portraying Shasta Bro. was also a walk-on wide receiver for Houston. And refused <laughs> to exchange blows with the duck mascot. Puddles was an actual player? Bro, that's a mi- no, He hit the, the Puddles elbow. Anytime Boom! <laughs> oh, the cat is the player? The cat was the player, not the duck. That's even worse. You got messed up by a mascot, dude. Number nine, Mackerel Jordan. Eats what is that? What is Mackerel Jordan? Bro, Mackerel he's huge. Jordan is quickly making the case that he should be. Oh no. In this particular clip, before yeah. approaching a grounds worker who's raking the infield dirt, uh -huh. the pair engages in a game of fetch before the worker pulls the classic <laughs> hidden ball trick. But this doesn't sit so well with the fish, who how, immediately swallows how? the unsuspecting worker before eventually spitting him back out, albeit with slightly it's less Tom Kitch. There he goes. Ooh, used his ultimate. Wait, how did they do that? It's magic. That's not a, like a two compartment thing. He stripped his clothes inside the suit. How do you fit two people in here? Stomach acid? Well, they left on his underwear, which is nice. Number eight, Crunch the Timberwolf. <laughs> Needless to say, this is not the feature game this afternoon. Mascots playing football against children is one of the stranger <laughs> traditions in pro sports, but right or wrong, it is absolutely hilarious. Wait, can I watch these full games? A giant gopher costume stiff arming a 10 year old kid on his way to a touchdown. Dude, in that's this amazing. Particular instance, Crunch the Timberwolf gets a little antsy and jumps the snap count to hammer the defenseless quarterback. <laughs> Man, crunch, crunch stop! A That's a sack for crunch. Bro, this rules. I want to watch this so bad. High school kids against grown men in mascot costumes. Just dumping on them. That is incredible. Wait, it's 10-year-olds? That's even better. Wait, best of peewee football kids versus mascots. Incredible. Amazing. Five, stuck Sharky. We are experiencing what happened to Sharky? I can safely 
No, Sharky, get down! How'd you get up you there? You go to a San Jose Sharks game, you can expect to see SJ Sharky entertaining the fans with a number of unique stuff. Oh, events. God. Dude, that padding is not going to help. That's so high. What do you mean? Those are two gym mats. He's going to burst through the ice. Oh, Things Sharky. didn't go so smoothly on this particular oh, evening no. back in 1999, however. He's as just Sharky stuck got stuck there. hanging over the ice. The game was actually delayed while they tried to get him down, which they finally did by hoisting him back up to the catwalk. Good job. I'm glad he's okay. Yeah, who thought it would be a good idea to drop him, dude? That was two gym mats. He would have died. That was so high. Number one, front flip fail. Oh. oh. That looked What's really better bad. Than one mascot making a fool of itself? One mascot made oh! a fool of itself and injuring other mascots. Oh my the god! That's just Miami a swanton bomb. To front flip over a handful of mascots. Ow! I <laughs> like how it's still he's still popping off. This is my moment. No, I made it. I definitely made it. I made it. I'm clear. The mascot suits may have been smiling, but the guys underneath All three were of them in a lot of pain. He oh, landed yeah. on there a hammer. Guys under there. Dude, the hammer got the worst of it. Oh, man, look at... Oh, my God. Well, maybe not, actually. I think Dora the Explorer here got it worse. Oh, but he's getting kicked. <laughs> he's getting the actual heels. Dude, I don't know who had it the worst. This is like that uh, that Alvin and the Chipmunks image, but with pain. Excellent work, 47. Listen, if 47 is in that suit, he had to have checked like 50 boxes to get this to line up. He had to get all three of them to complete their routines and lay out here. <laughs> I don't think this duck realized how good he had it. That duck is just, he doesn't realize what just happened next to him. Oh, God. All right, that's going to do it for Watch Mojo tonight. Hey, sorry about the gross food facts. Hope you weren't eating while watching that. But if you were, now you know more about the food you're consuming. And uh, hope it tastes a little bit better with the bug facts. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you liked it, go below the video. Drop a like. It really helps out the video. And it'll make you feel better. But for now, we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye, YouTube! Okay, now they're gonna miss the actual stuff. Alright, now it's time for the after party. The YouTube's done. But now it's time to watch the real stuff. Top 20 Danganronpa executions. <laughs> what?